Good morning, everybody. Uh, before I continue on the shield, I need to look something up. Uh, that was that was me on my stream. Um, For reference purposes, I need to see the, the backside of a shield in Breath of the Wild. The only problem is you can hardly see them online. And uh, I did take some reference on my phone um, but I'm not sure if that's from the back side oh there we go Okay. Um, it was for the um, for the handle over there. Hey Yuri, good morning. Hola, good morning to you too. Um, also, I think. This piece might be a little bigger, but on the other hand, it is a pretty big shield, so... Hmm. Not sure. And why is that handle not showing? So it is just a, it's just a cylinder, so. I can just do this in, in C brush. Just a pen, any shape. Bring that in position. Change that to a cylinder. Maya is 20% off on the Autodesk websites. Okay, cool. That's good to know for people who are or might be interested in Maya. Thanks for the heads up, Ola. Um, never mind, you're telling me lies. <laughs> It's only for those who's got my already. Okay. Ah, I see. Hey, Uber, good morning. Uh, 
Oh, the desk tricked you. <laughs> All the desk is tricking everybody. Um, okay, let's... Yeah, this, this is fine. Oh, come on. my reference did you design the shield yes <laughs> it's a very intuitive design <laughs> for the handle. Ah, oh, yeah, like that. Like that. Um... as well and this area okay so let me show you what I have in mind Let's uh, poly poly loop. Thank you. 
the fuck is going on with this thing? I just want to assign one polygroup to that. But it doesn't see this. It doesn't see this as a loop. But it sees this as a loop. Oh boy, oh boy. This is why I hate working with fucking C modeler, because it doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it works perfectly and sometimes just fucking retarded. Really? My apologies for my response. <laughs> doesn't make any fucking sense. But maybe it's me. I don't want to. I want to temper, never mind.
Um, all right. Okay, so I have no idea why this masking is fucking up at the moment. Sorry, the unmasked part does not fit the country set symmetry mode. Okay. Okay, that works. Oh, that's brilliant, Seabrush, you fucking moron. I can't click on you. On <sighs> if you're trying to work along with me, my apologies. <laughs> Hmm, it's, it's probably me. I don't know. A <laughs> sudden angry outburst, definitely Seabrush using. Yeah. Come on, Max, don't... Don't be a fucking idiot as well. Never blame the software, only blame yourself. It's always you. Uh... Does it override? Yes, it overrides. Good. Oh, it doesn't care, but... Let's delete this. And abandon the new one. <laughs> oh yeah? Is it, a, is it an improvement? Improvement, sorry, another improvement. Uh, oh, the group. Good, so now we can. Hopefully. Add some. Patch loops here. Yeah, that's that's better. Like this. Good.
this is just fine and then we just add a a sphere to the mix append uh, we tested yesterday with the few board shaders it's almost like marmoset okay That yeah, sounds nice. Um this is pretty yeah this is accurate enough <laughs> I was just wondering if I can align the the pivots of both objects into one but I don't think I need it One second. Everything is working on my nerves today. <laughs> Even the poor. Uh, what is it? sun powered thing that starts wiggling when it's in the sun and it's ticking it's fucking annoying maybe I need a more relaxing music Here's relaxing music. So there we stood, looking at another artist's screen, giggling like children at what felt like the most super nerdy thing ever. <laughs> Look at those reflections in the viewport. Yeah, that's interesting. That's cool if it works.
Okay, maybe this should be more rough because because of his hand. There we go. Hey, Rodo TV. Good morning. Thanks for joining me again today. for these kind of shapes it's better to use a dynamic subdivision so activate dynamic subdivision and bring up the Q grid so we can get this more beveled edges the only downside Um, might be that the that the poly count is really high. Let's see. Oh, it's only uh, 58, <laughs> 5800. Gagnarok, looking forward to see the final sculpt. Me too. <laughs> I should have um, finished the sculpt today during this stream. Okay, so now with the dynamic subdivision, we got some some smooth etching here. Um, and we can make some very small modifications, which you most likely won't be able to see in the, in the final texture. But you know, it's good for the sculpt. Ah, this music gets a little bit of peace back into my into my mind. My apologies if it's too boring. to the lower version as well. Are you working uh, along with me at the same time, uh, Kagnarok, on your shield? If you have any questions regarding this, <laughs> feel free to ask me. Happy to help you out. Um, okay, and I think... 
think it's good to have this on here as well. So it looks like it's holding the handle in place there. center there we go turn this 90 degrees Gizmo itself is obstructing a view. should work. Um, this pieces I want to make a small modification there. Um, No, Z modeler. Yeah, yeah. Are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, Yuri. No, what I want to try now is just scale the uh, the edges here to make it more beveled. But now I'm figuring out how to. I keep forgetting this. Uh, how to mask one single uh, one single polygroup. Oh, there we go. Control Shift. Control Shift. Uh, click. And if. Uh, invert that. And. Blur the mask. There we go. Mm. 
No, that's not what I want. So what I wanted to do was I can I can do it here. Um, just kill a single. What? Mess polygon center. Like this. This is what I wanted. Up the fishing again. It's a bit extreme, but... I think extreme is good. Hey, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny. Good morning. Good to see you here. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, maybe a combination of both is better, so break up these straight edges with the trim dynamic like this very rough and then use the orb version Um, 
I think these bolts might also be better with a little bit more smooth edges like this and maybe let's apply this and then apply some clay polish to that I think that's already looking pretty good I don't think it needs more detail or uh, or more smoothness I do want to manually replace them a little bit but first yeah let's do the let's do the positioning first by the way uh, oh no do they have different poly groups? No. Auto groups. Hey Lilia, good morning. Okay, so control click, yes, exactly. Perfect. Do the same here with the dynamic subdivisions. Let's cube five and a little bit more soft. Apply this and add some clay polish on top good morning to you too Randy you're welcome back oh oh well <laughs> oh wait <laughs> I didn't, I didn't assign the polygroups yet. There we go. So now we can reposition them manually. way of doing a clean subdivision yes yeah I started working with these um, dynamic subdivisions very uh, late <laughs> I didn't use them for quite a while but they're pretty effective 
All right. Um, okay, this is looking fine. I think the last thing I want to do is to um, work on this inner edge and add a little bit of a little bit more damage, but I think it's almost good, almost good enough for the uh, amount of detail I want in it in this. But I do want to avoid these kind of uh, hard corners. And yeah, and instead of using the trim dynamic, I'll be using the orb flatten edge brush to uh, bring in the final details. But I think I need my trim dynamic to trim away this first. Yes. Oh, don't get dizzy. Okay, that should read better. Bring in Orb's little fancy brush again. Thank you. 
are you doing textures as well today? Um, let's see, I have over an hour left. It, it kind of depends on the, on the low poly. I think I will, I will save that for Friday. But who knows? Who knows? inner side first and then do the icon so yeah the next step after polishing this is bringing this back into 3ds max for the uh, for the un um, for the low poly version not yet for the unwrap we need a low poly version before we need to can before we can unwrap wow maybe i should just do my stream in Dutch and then make subtitles <laughs> in English. Or I should practice English more. Well, if it doesn't make any sense what I'm saying, just let me know. And I'll try to... Uh, I'll try to explain what I mean. Uh, will you be exploring Marmoset with this shield too? I'm not sure yet. Because uh, Marmoset re can't really offer the style I want. Um, so the, the cell shaded style. Marmoset can't do that. Or well, at least not that I know of. Maybe bake in Marmoset just to try. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not not super into learning new stuff on stream because, as you might have seen earlier in the stream, I hate to fail. <laughs> I hate to fail life. <laughs> but maybe maybe it's good. Maybe it is good to fail on stream because I might learn more. Um, but I don't know yet. It wasn't in my uh, planning for today. Um, your English is great. I would much prefer you practicing your English rather than me le learning Dutch. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Now I didn't really add any detail here, but I think that's a good, a good thing. <laughs> Goedemorgen Uber. <laughs> I heard a lot of good things about baking in Marmoset, yeah, me too. But I have some very good experience with baking and substance as well. Mm. Uh, maybe not doing auto save, but a, a real save. Tools are tools. Yeah, sure. Um, but at the moment, I think I prefer tools that I'm comfortable with and do the trick for now. But hey, who knows? Maybe I'll go crazy and, and fire up Marmoset in a bit. But I need a low poly first. Um, mm, mm, mm. Just a little bit of height variation here. Oh, no, <laughs> wrong button. There we go. Oh, you meant painter. <laughs> Well, that's good to hear, Ola. Thank you. And the rest, of course, who wants to help. Uh, do you think this icon should be bigger? Or is this the right side for it? Think about that, and I, in the meantime, I will get a short toilet break back in two minutes.
All right, so did you decide, guys? Do I need to make this Goron icon bigger? Maybe a little bit. Or not. Oh, Solex Interact Interactive. Thanks for hosting me. Roto TV is uh, part of Solux Interactive, right? They are making a cool uh, first-person shooter. And they are streaming the, uh, the process on their, uh, on their channel. Mordekainer, the blue interface with the red buttons is killing my eyes. Really? Uh huh. Sorry to hear that, Morder. It's not a large tower shield, so I think it's a fine size. I guess. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, let's tweak some fine details. this up one more time Just not, not very fond of baking in painter after I discovered how I can literally paint on a model where you want the cage to expand or to contract. Yeah, that sounds pretty powerful, but not something I would use, I think. Um, okay, so I hate... These kind of lines here. So let's polish this bump away and redrag this uh, 
this effect on top. Hey Harry. Thanks for joining me and thanks for the thanks for the host with the Solix Interactive channel. Not sure who did it, but Okay, so let's bring this in here. There we go, it's a lot stronger like this. Polish this a little bit around these corners. Maybe, maybe extend this cut a little tiny bit too much there we go are you going to stream uh, today Lilia IT science, thanks for the team bear and the hot dog. <laughs> okay, so the same applies here. Let's trim this nasty little corner away. There we go. And now re retrack this one. That's a lot more clean. Yeah, you should, Lilia. Thanks. More interesting news, Modo is integrating the Redeon Pro Render out of the box. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for this news flash, Ola. Back to you, Lilia. With today's weather. Um, no, but Ola, I, I'm, I'm not sure what the pro render is. <laughs> Oops. Is that a modo thing? Well, apparently it is now. Don't mind my stupid questions. <laughs> it's a new uh, render engine, okay. Okay, this sounds cool. 
it's good to have more options, right? Hey, Starflare. Good morning. Thanks for joining in. <laughs> For once I have time. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice breakfast is good breakfast is always good never skip breakfast guys to embed these a little bit more. Uh, this is turning up pretty good, thank you. Uh, is it a new project or is it part of the diorama you were doing? No, this is part of a new project. Um, I want to uh, create or recreate a Goron shield in the style of uh, Breath of the Wild. since there are no Goron shields in Breath of the Wild. And I think Gorons are one of my favorite Zelda races. <laughs> so they need to protect themselves with a, with a solid shield. Um, and it will be, well, not really a series of shields, but um, this will be a part of uh, a to set shield so this is the first basic one and there will be a upgraded version of this with an added part on top of this and this is based on the flame breaker armor set uh, in breath of the wild uh, regarding the, the details and the colors and the other shield will be more based on the um, the bowler breaker or bo what's the name again yeah the bowler breaker sword uh, can I oh Google bowler breaker sword <laughs> uh, so that's more like stone combined with metal and gold and this will be more a leathery um, fire resistant stuff <laughs> well that's a good thing if you think if you thought it looked kind of Zelda <laughs> well I can really recommend the game even on the Wii U Uh, how many tries you want to get for an in-game model? Uh, not sure. Maybe I'll... I need to find out the um, the triangle count in the original game. So I can use this as a uh, starting point. Alright Star. Enjoy your breakfast. Oh. Um... If anybody is interested in more sculpting for games, go follow Flarian. 
<laughs> I call her Flarian or Starian or anything that comes up in my mind. Uh, let's start with crafts. This command doesn't work on YouTube, but I don't think I even have any YouTube viewers at the moment. No. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see if it, if we can embed this a little bit more, like this, um, maybe, maybe it is good. Maybe to continue this this detail a little bit in the in the shield itself, right? Does that make sense? Maybe just a little dent because when a sword is swung <laughs> swinged <laughs> on the shield it will it will hit this icon first and maybe only leave a bump on the shield surface yeah i don't think it needs more um maybe add more scratches to the shield maybe but i don't want to add too many scratches to the shield actually and the idea behind it is that gorons are not much of a fighter type you know So, I, I think that's the reason why they don't even have a shield. But maybe, maybe we can add a few more of these small... Small scratches. That might be nice. That won't hurt. there and we need to use my back face masking
try and fix one more thing and then then I'm done with the sculpt. Uh, add a uh. okay let's add a deformer to this oh let's duplicate this first hide the original and delete the subdivisions bring a deformer in here um, symmetry yes uh. Okay, so that's it's pretty heavy because of the poly count, uh, but I think it it will work. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I think this is better. Actually, rarely do shout out to try to make the command. Oh, did you hear my stomach? <laughs> I, did, I did hear it. Wow, I need some breakfast as well. <laughs> uh, I tried to make the command for the bot and it never worked. I will add some face, but I copy paste the link. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm using Nightbot, I think, for the shout out. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Uh, is a Tim Rammers Discord challenge already up? The, the, the Tim Rammers Discord challenge? What what challenge? I don't know of this challenge. I think. What did you do, Randy? Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I'm sure you can fix this. I don't know what the challenge is. Randy started talking about the Discord challenge. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Randy, I forgot. I apologize. Can you, can you remember me? Can you remind me? Please save me, Randy. Uh, okay, so I think this is better. I see more people want the Remus challenge. <laughs> First rule, don't tell about the challenge, yeah. Okay, so I have this, this version and 
Oh. And this. And I prefer the new one actually. Thank you, Seabrush R8 for the deformers. I'm still curious what the challenge was. Once a month there is a subject, for example, trolls or shields, and then everybody, everyone in the Discord can join the challenge and make the subject in 3D. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I can't remember anything of that, you know? I'm getting old. It's in your own Discord. <laughs> you still have your hair, that's true. What engine do you use in Lethal League? Um, the original version that is on Steam currently uses our custom engine in C++. C++. Uh, but the console port for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One is made in Unity. Fire. No, not fire. Um, all right, good. See, Ola doesn't know either. I, th I think it's your made up challenge, Randy. <laughs> but we could do something like this, that. So this month's challenge is shields. Mr. Kagnarok was already, already started the shield. Let's make that right away. Challenge. This month's challenge is shields. Ah, hola. Hola. <laughs> you beat me to it. You are banned. <laughs> no, no, you're not banned. Don't worry. Did you delete that message? <laughs> well, it is for real now, Randy. You made it happen. What are the rules? <laughs> we don't have any rules yet, however. So we, we can make the rules now. Uh, 
Um, in the meantime, the first rule was don't talk about the challenge or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, Gagnarok has a nice head start. <laughs> and I have the, the biggest head start though. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's save this and reorganize the high poly version so we can export this to uh, 3ds Max and start working on the low poly version. Um, Let's, can I split masked? I can, good. Uh huh. Let's bring these two. holder there we go <laughs> yeah I think there are quite some challenges around but yeah feel free to join I, I don't have any prizes for the challenge yet or anything I, I still can't remember talking about a challenge so I didn't really thought about any details many challenges around are stupid but <laughs> this is a stupid challenge as well right <laughs> it's fun Oh crap. Um Okay, let's do it like this. Because the uh, this little green thing is not sticking through the purple thing. Let's 
let's try to align my gizmo and scale this in there a little bit. There we go. Let's do that for the for this version as well. Align this. There we go, that's better. Um, let's save that. It required things like must submit as a 3DS file with fee ratio. Yeah, that's bullshit. Oh, Randy found it. It is true, where? Like, oh, there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Oops. That, that's quite some time ago, right? Oh, no, never mind. It's, uh,. American time till 4th of 4th of July I thought it was the 7th of April um, But yeah, I think a challenge is cool I think the only requirement would be make it game ready. So low poly version with un unwraps um, with UVs and uh, and a texture. I think that's the most important requirement. All right. This can be merged as well. And this can be merged too. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but it should be separate from the rest. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, of course you can, Lilia. Um, and I think there are a lot of people around who, who want to help you with it. Yeah, exactly. Like Ola said. <laughs> Time to shield up. Am I the only one who can see the amount of actual watches below the video? I don't know. Uh, I don't see Twitch at the moment, but let me check. I think it's working. Yeah, it's... Uh, 
it's currently 20 21 viewers looks like it's working um okay so i have this is the old shield border we don't use that anymore the bolts um can be separate as well okay let's see let's see how this works if I um, let's just save this and start a new max file go back to cbrush and go see all the visible subtools there we go hello Bless you. Hmm. I don't see anything. Hey, Mr. Muffin. How are you doing today? Maybe maybe it's too uh, too high. Uh, let's save this and thanks, sir. Thanks, Steve. doing well and I'm extremely motivated at the moment because I got an art test for something I really want <laughs> also it's paid <laughs> that's nice man congratulations can you share what uh, which company the artist is for why is my go see not working Um, well, in that case, let's just decimate this. Okay, cool. Well, tell me. What is the art test for? Oh, for Den. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we know them very well. <laughs> the M2H guys. Well, very well. Not very well on a personal level, but I don't know their their shoe sizes. But I do know his mother. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's good. Nice man. Good job. Well, you have to do the art test. But 
it's good that they uh, sent you the art test. So it's currently uh, going through all the vertices to pre-process the decimation process. See, it's computing. we go um, so let's decimate this by 20 20% 20 is still quite a bit but Can we... Go see this now? Oh. Hello chicken, good morning. Let's just close 3ds Max. And... See if it's... Firing up 3ds Max by itself, but it doesn't look like that. Why do you do that? And if we just what? If we just go see one object. Game tech, good morning. Oh, when I do just one, it works. That's silly. Good morning, game tech. What's up? Thanks for joining me. Let's wait a second for trees max to fire up. Oh, good morning, Yanni. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today on this artistic adventure. <laughs> okay, there it is. I think Okay, so one one sub tool is working. I don't want to export them manually. That's stupid. Hmm. Well, in that case. I'm just going to export all subtools 
into one OBJ. And does this use the... Oh, come on. Come on. Export skill should be 100. Uh, let's turn the groups off. Export seabrush. Uh, shields. High. Alright. Let's delete this again and go to my export folder and import shield high Is it dying again? I don't know. Flip. It looks okay, but... Now I'm actually not sure if the size is correct. So that's the first thing I really need to check. Uh, let's just... Holy shit. Okay, the size is... Very big. Maybe... It wasn't a good idea to... Scale this... To 100. <laughs> course because we started with a gozit version from Treatise Max 2 Seabrush the skill is good and last time I started in Seabrush first ah yeah I think I think that's it uh, let's flip the normals Yeah, I'm, I'm really a forgetful man. I really am. 
Okay, so we should be able to import this on a normal scale now. Still huge. New creatures have joined your dungeon. Thank you, Mr. Geik Art. Thanks for the follow. Why, why, why is this? Uh, let's. No, don't save this. Let's go to um, my original liking these forms. Thank you, Mr. Guy Art. I like your forms too. No, I don't know yet. I don't know yet if I like your forms. Yeah, yeah, it was intentional. <laughs> See, Lilia, understand how it works. Okay, so what I did is I exported this max version to ZBrush. And then the ZBrush version back into max. But it looks like the scale was ridiculous. I think this is the it's the same hundred unit issue again because if we scale this down to one it should yeah there we go and it's the right size um, okay No, Zebras and Max are really confusing. That it's ridiculous. Yeah, my br everything was maxed out after using Go C from 3ds Max. Uh, maybe. Maybe I should work in uh, in centimeters for uh, for ZBrush. So that it's a hundred times smaller if you paid attention in class. <laughs> um, so what's the best way? doing this because I can just change the for now I can change the export to zero point zero one that is a, a little bit confusing um, I just let's just write it down for myself. New creatures oh no. no 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 don't want this one. Uh, use 
one centimeter unit when working between uh, working with Go C between Trudius Max and Seabrush. AMH AMH Fost. Thanks for the follow. Um, memo. Um, okay, yeah, so for now, let's just export this on Maybe this will cause some issues again in Substance, but not if I export the Correct unit size in 3ds Max. Mm. Okay, let's first export this on. This new skill. And this should import this shield on the correct scale now. <laughs> there we go, perfect. A perfect fit. He <laughs> was just talking to himself. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. Always ends up like that. Um, but this is this is fine. You gotta talk to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Kike art understands. Um, we're just going to use this for the uh, retopology. Oh boy. Gotta stay sane. Oh, I've, I'm, I'm past that. Sanity isn't for me. <laughs> uh, shield. Shield. Handle. Hi. Naming conventions. Don't really matter for this piece, by the way, but it's good in general. a little bit slow because of the uh, because of the amount of triangles one two three four
this is so slow. I think it's, yeah, I think it's just crashing. Um, what to do? Okay, let's um, let's leave it here. It's ten thirty, uh, muffin. It's my limit. I've reached my limit. I can't handle any more of muffinness. Uh, yeah, definitely. We got two really good interns starting. Uh, in a few weeks yeah looking forward to work with them <laughs> no problem Gagnarok thanks for joining um, yeah I, I'm, I think I'm going to fix this off stream later this oh Maybe. No. It took literally five minutes to select one one object. Um, at this moment, only three, uh, Randy. But in in September, we are back on six. Nah, it's, it's crashing again. Um, okay, let's leave it here. Uh, I'll be back again this Friday. Uh, Friday we will continue with the low poly version of this shield and uh, low poly should take only a few minutes so we can unwrap it and start texturing. Yeah, I think we can get it textured this Friday. I hope so. Uh, Starflare, are you going to stream now? Uh, let me know how you solved this issue because I did the cozy workflow too. Um, do you have the same issue as I have at the moment, Kekken Rock? Because if that's um, if that's the case, the thing to fix it is turn your unit setup to uh, centimeters instead of meters um, but I'll, I'll get to you on uh, on the discord I'll show you there ah uh, 30 minutes okay in that case I will host um, Oh, 
our host Meow Sparky again. Since he is sculpting at the moment. Or, 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 or let's quickly check art station. And after that host, my auto host will take you over, Starflare. <laughs> when you go live, my, my host will pick up your stream. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. And feel free to join the Discord and join the challenge we, ju we just set up. Thanks to Randy. <laughs> so the challenge is to make, to make a shield as well. Join me in the shield making. Cool. Um, I will see you guys this Friday. Have a good day and take care.